Hey, it's Reese, and I've made about 10 boards on my homemade surfboard shaping machine now. And I thought that I would just give a little update on the machine as it gets more dialed in. So this is an update after my first 10 boards. <laughs> so the first thing is the surfboard support stands. And what these do is they basically are these little adjustable stands that I can move them up and down. And then I can also slide them side to side. And I can actually put the surfboard on top of them. And they have the suction cups, which suck the board down onto the machine so it's not moving. At first, I was using four posts with four vacuum pads on them. And what I found is that the more vacuum pads that you have, the more that the vacuum system leaks. And so it gets harder to hold the board down, actually. So what I ended up finding out is that uh, just one of these vacuum pads on the front and one on the tail of the board is more than enough to hold the board down and it doesn't leak that much. So the, the least amount of vacuum pads you can use is better. And then I just have another post in the middle here just to support the middle of the board so it's not bending down as the machine passes over top. And that's pretty much all I've needed for every board I've done since the first couple. Another thing that I added is a vacuum pump regulator to my my suction vacuum system because before on the first couple boards I made I was actually manually turning the vacuum pump on and off uh, as the vacuum got too low because it's pretty much impossible to get a perfect seal on one of these boards so what this thing does is a little circuit board in here and it measures the amount of vacuum that's in my pressure pot and when it gets too low, it automatically turns the vacuum pump on until it reaches a certain point and then it turns it off again. So that saves a lot of hassle. Before, for my dust collection system, I had this hose just kind of dangling uh, off the ceiling and it would kind of sag down and get in the way and I'd always have to move it out of the way while the machine was cutting. So I put a piece of string running from the front to the back of the machine and then hung the, the hose off that and it can actually slide back and forth on this and it automatically holds the dust hose out of the way. So that is pretty sweet. Another thing that I had to do was um, before I had the whole bed of the machine up about a foot higher and that allowed me to do a woodworking projects on the flat section here as well as shape surfboards but what I found is that I didn't really have enough adjustment room with my uh, my support posts to do surfboards properly and so I had to drop the whole bed of the machine down but that made it so that I couldn't do any woodworking projects anymore. And so what I ended up doing was building this wooden table here. And I can take these surfboard supports off and slide the wooden table on top of the bed. And then I can still do woodworking projects on the machines. That can include things like uh, twin tips, twin tip kite boards or wake boards or tables or whatever. I can still do all of that on this machine as well as surfboards. And it's a pretty quick transition. So. I'll show you how that's done.
So that's how easy it is to change modes. Uh, now all I would have to do is just screw it down. I've got a couple of L brackets down here with some uh, little T nuts lined up that I can just lock this thing in place. And I'm good to go for some woodworking projects. I've already leveled this whole table out with the machine. Um, so yeah, quick transitions.